Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Mark on RC Nerd 74. Finally, I'm back with another episode on my RC Scrappy Build. The last few weeks took many hours to do this step you can see here to build the custom made, handmade cowling template for RC Scrappy. And today's video is all about the steps uh, to get from the raw material to the final shape of the template. So let's jump right into the details and have a closer look to all the build steps. First I had to do some little prepare steps on the fuselage. I had to remove the plastic part which sits on top of the rear end on the cowling, on the stock cowling of the carbon cup just because I don't need this and this is in the way of the final carbon cowling so this was the first step and then I just removed some paint to get a little cleaner look of the stock fuselage. Next step was to figure out the position of the custom cowling or the motor shaft where the motor shaft will be on the cowling to have the right angle of the cowling. For this I had to install the motor and the motor shaft like this I was able to check the position where the motor shaft comes out of the custom cowling and this helped me to prepare the first carton template which is the long one you can see in the center of the template. Then I had to do some measurements on the stock cowling just to make the rear end of the custom carbon part fit exactly to the round shape of the fuselage. So I'm able to screw the custom cowling onto the stock fuselage without any modification on the stock fuselage. To reach the shape of the original full scale scrappy cowling, I took some photos from the internet from the full scale scrappy and scaled the pictures to the right size, printed them and cut them with a scissor just to get uh, some paper templates which I later put it onto the carton to cut all the carbon parts you can see on this template to the right shape. After copying the paper template onto the carton template on the center one, I cut it the carton template and also draw all the lines for the uh, crosswise templates which are in exact distance of three centimeters so this makes it possible to fit the three centimeter thick foam plates between all the crosswise carton templates to get the 3d shape of the template the first crosswise template i draw and cut it was the front end template which uh, gives the shape of the face of the cowling. This was the most important one. From this I worked to the back end of the template and adapted the shape of the different cotton templates all to the back of the cowling. To get a symmetrical shape of the template I cut the paper template in half and just flip the half to the other side and like this I was able to draw the exact same shape on both sides so I was pretty close to a perfect symmetrical shape for the face of the cowling. Then I cut the hole into the front end template put it onto the fuselage to check if the look makes sense, the position of the front end template makes sense, the height and all the stuff, if the motor sits in the right position or if I have to move the motor. Then I was also ready to cut out the air intake shape, both the same design, also for symmetrical look. Then I went back to the center line template 
took the paper template once again, ported it onto the center template on the carbon template to copy the side profile of the air intakes onto the carbon template to get an impression of how the shape of the air intakes has to look like to come as close as possible to full-scale Scrappy's design. As you can see, the air intakes do not have the exact same shape as full-scale Scrappy, but I like them, they are pretty massive and I like the massive look of the air intake, so I know that this is not 100% full-scale uh, cowling design, but I really hope that it will look great on the stock fuse large and I will see after the installation of the carbon part if I will reach this look or uh, we will see how this will end up. To get a symmetrical shape on all the crosswise templates I first marked the center line on each template then I did a cut on top into the main template and from the bottom side into the crosswise templates and like this I was able to put the templates together and get the first 3D impression of the look of the final cowling. For all the crosswise templates I wasn't able to print out any pictures out on the internet because you cannot cut the pictures in the middle of the cowling. So what I had to do is to put on the raw template onto the main template and just compare the design of, the, of my template to full scale Scrappy's cowling design and draw the shape just one side onto the raw template, draw the lines how the shape should look like then I took the template off again and copied the one side I drawed with clear foil, copied it onto the other side of the template and like this I had a fully symmetrical shape on each crosswise carbon template on the cowling template. Like this I did all the build up of all the crosswise templates except the templates which actually make the connection between the cowling and the fuselage. There I had to do another technique. I took some carton and cut it to the shape of the fuselage uh, until I had the exact same round shape of the fuselage. Then copied this shape onto a raw template for the whole cowling, draw this design cut it out, copied it onto the second side like this. I was also able to hopefully get a shape on the rear end which will perfectly fit the fuselage of the carbon cup. Then it was time to start to work on the 3cm XPS foam. First I had to do 18 pieces which I put it between all the carbon templates so I tried to cut them a little too big, but not too big, so I had to not sand too much, but they had to be a little bigger, just also because I was not sure if I will be able to get the exact shape of all the carbon templates or if I have to do some changes on the design during sanding because while you sand the whole shape you just figure out if all the cut things on the carbon templates will work for the design or if you have to do any spontaneous changes and do some different sanding than what the shape of the carbon templates is. To keep the foam plates in place I used the hoop port to glue all the plates between the carton templates. Then it was time to sand the first steps, remove all the edges on the foam parts to get a raw smooth shape. So I was able to start a serious sanding work on the whole template to finally get the shape of the final cowling. 
Before I started with more sanding, I took the carton template of the front end of the cowling, put it onto the foam plate and drawed the whole shape onto the foam. This crosswise template is the only one I don't use on the final shape because I have to do some sanding work on the front end and if you have the carton template on the front end, you're not able to sand the carton. Carton is not a good material to sand, so the front end had to be foam to make all the work in a clean way. Draw it onto the face and like this I was able to adapt the whole shape and did a lot more sanding. It was a real big mess, so I highly recommend to at least use some eye protection to protect your eyes from all the flying around foam dust. And like this you will be safe during all the sanding work. Before I started to sand the whole plates, I also cut some parts off with a hobby knife just to have less work on sanding. Then sanded with 80 grit sandpaper on the whole shape. And after uh, some more progress on the sanding, I figured out that I messed up with the rear end of the cowling template. And as you can see, I cut off the outer end parts of the original back end plate because the lower end of the template was way too narrow. I just sanded it in a straight way back to the end. This was way too narrow to make it fit to the uh, custom landing gear I made. So this end will touch up with the custom landing gear and this had to be 14 centimeters wide. So I missed this part. The result was that I had to cut off the two outer parts of the foam plate, cut some new parts, glued them again onto the place with oo pour, and then sanded a different shape with these corners, which make the lower end of the template much wider. And like this, the template should fit pretty perfect on the front end of the landing gear. And then I figured out another issue about the carton templates because the carton is more resistant against sanding than the foam plates are. The carton templates were a little bit higher on the surface than the foam. So the result was that it had some tiny bumps where all the carton templates were so I took a screwdriver and simply pressed the carton into the foam so there is a little gap between the foam plates but I think this will work to lay the carbon layer over these gaps. These are only 1.5 millimeters or something so I think this will work fine. Then I had to make this little front end plate, which uh, will fit the shape of the spinner. For this I also took some 3 cm foam plate, draw the round shape onto the plate, cut it out, sanded it down to the round shape, also to the right height, just uh, around 5 mm or something, and glued the plate onto the template. The last steps on the template were to mill out the air intakes with my Dremel tool and sand the inner side down to the right thickness of the intake walls with a 120 grit sandpaper and the final finish to shape the air intake front end smooth and round. I used 240 grit sandpaper to get a pretty nice look of the final template. I think like this I'm pretty close to the full scale scrappy cowling. The design is not finished like this so what is missing are the air intakes underneath here, air outlet also and uh, exhaust covers 
these parts are all missing but I will do the first carbon step like this and will add all the missing details later so the air intakes and outlets and exhaust covers will be put on the already made carbon cowling because it's way too complex to wrap this whole template including all the details with one carbon layer. So the target is actually to wrap the whole template with one piece of carbon fiber. Not sure if I will get this but I will try and would be awesome to have really clean carbon cowling made of one piece of uh, carbon fiber so i really hope that i will handle this but um, we will see how the result will end up so in the next episode i will show you the result of the whole carbon wrapping the process of the carbon wrapping all the work on the carbon part to hopefully make it fit onto the stock fuse lash. I'm really excited about these steps. This is the most important and most complex part I will do on my custom RC scrappy build. Looking forward to the next steps and fingers crossed for some success on this really exciting part. So this is it for today's video. I hope you like it. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good time. See you in the next one. Bye bye.